I can feel these magics rising up. Should yeah. I can I can feel this room filling with magics. I coming in the air tonight. What? Oh yeah, I mean the gigs. I mean the gigs. I mean the gigs. All right. And once we get to one million magics. McGicks, McGicks, McGicks. Once we get to one million magics, we, oh fuck, we will bring forth Satan. But first, this stage needs to get a lot prettier. And to that end, come quads up! Hello. Hello. Hi. Come on, up. I have Hello. a document or spell <laughs> made just for you. Yes, hello! Hey, so real quick, Bunny Bread doesn't have a beer, and I don't know why the fuck that happened. Yeah, but if somebody weird. Can We're in a bar. Us. Somebody can probably fix that. Not beer happening here. This is a very aroused man that needs a beer. <laughs> there we go. Who is my boy? All right, problem solved. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Applaud that man. Good Thank you. All right, what do we got here? Blow up the moon. <laughs> 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 Who wants to blow up the moon? Blow up the moon. <laughs> Thank you. Blow up the moon. Hey, it's Jimmy eight times. A magic spell of evil provided by Portex! Yes! Featuring toast? Where? 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 I don't know. See, it says blow up the moon. But does it say it like five times? Yes. Do, you, do you mean okay. blow the moon? You better read it again just to be sure. Oh, you I don't, don't know where it went. Okay. Hello! Hey. An essay by Alexander Avian posted to Usenet, the most evil of sources, yeah, yeah. sometime around 1988. The most evil of years. Hey! Hey! What's up? Yes! Yes! Yes, we <laughs> must get rid of that moronish. Mor moronish. On the cusp of moron. Moronish, idiotic and imbecile trunk of perverse piece of refuse, the moon, once and for all. The moon must go, must be eliminated. Enough of billions of years of the evil presence of that piece of refuse with its morbid presence hanging over our heads. Enough of the terrorizing spy in the ski. The terrorizing spy in the ski. That evil, watchful eye. That disgusting, boring, depressing piece of abomination. We must radically change the cosmic surrounding scenario of our planet Earth. Enough of the same billion and billion of years of continuous misery, of rotten, decadent, pestiferous, and idiotical celestial setup surrounding our planet Earth. Uh, the next part... What? The next part is in all caps, so I don't know where to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swallow the mic. Radical change is absolutely necessary. Yeah. Of 
That's close. The most practical, the most effective, the most urgent radical change is to blow up the moon. I hate the moon. Fuck the moon. Fuck the moon. Fuck the moon. Fuck your moon. Guys, I fucked the moon. It wasn't that great. I keep trying. Buddy Brad, have you tried to fuck the moon? Not tried. Yeah. Succeeded. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the moon pregnant? Well, yeah. that, I don't know where you think Venus came from, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, fuck. Uh, uh, get rid of its evil presence once and for all. Now it's no longer all cap. Moon with its dull, stupid, depressing, condescending, and disgusting, boring presence had and has the most damaging influence on human life, behavior, and actions. With its tide creating in the flow of blood, especially in the brain of mankind, it has created a monstrous beast of human species. We must Blow up the moon! I heard the moon is kind of a bitch. Do not worry. Okay. There is life and existence without moon. A much better and a much healthier and interesting life. In fact, the blowing up of the moon will jolt our planet Earth and will get rid of the layers and layers and layers of accumulated during billion and billion of years of filth, faculence, drugs, and patrudity on our planet Earth. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Politician! Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're back on board. Politician, especially the UN representative. Oh, I hate that guy. Hate that guy. <laughs> and the self appointed guardians of setting political systems for better life on the planet Earth are only good for organizing banquets, cocktail parties. Oh, yes. And lavish hotel arrangements for the conduct of their useless efforts, meetings, conferences, committees, 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 <laughs> and committees. Yeah, fuck committees. To change dictatorships to democracies. Fuck committees. Fuck committees. Yeah, fuck committee committees. Ones. Fuck up, minis. I keep trying. How do you think subcommittees were created? I fucked it. Oh, never mind. First of all, UN is the most undemocratical. <laughs> establishment which has the temerity, nerve, and obnoxiousness of claiming to establish democracy in the world. The UN has a self-appointed and not elected for perpetuity a security council with a veto power. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Not one word. Do you understand that? No, I have no, 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 I have no, no idea what no, the fuck you're talking no, about. Stop no, talking. no, self-appointed for perpetuity with veto power, and that UN professes to establish democracy. It is like Hitler appointing himself to be the president of the Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. Yeah. UN's claiming of being of, of being of, of being of, the guardian of democracy is an insult to the intelligence of any reasoning human being. It is a disgustingly phony, ludicrous, and obnoxious claim. A totally unabashed, insidious lie. 
Veto power belongs to a self-appointed superpowers for a perpetuity. What a masquerade of democracy is that you win? Uh, 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 excuse uh, me. Uh, 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 hello. You uh, cannot change life on Earth. You uh, sure? No. Okay. No. You what? no. 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 Just, no philosopher. No what? politician can change the life and Earth. No. To jolt the Earth into a truly radical change. The surrounding celestial scenario of the planet Earth must be radically changed, and for that we must blow up the moon! Yeah! Ah! Fuck, the moon! Fuck, Fuck the, the moon! Fuck the moon! Fuck the moon! Uh, Fuck the moon! Fuck the moon! How to do it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure that out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the details. Yeah, shit. You're the idea guy. Yeah, yeah. Very easily. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Done. Okay, yeah, that was great. There is an overabundance of nuclear fuel on the planet Earth. Especially at the disposal of all those superpowers which ban the others of not creating new nuclear arsenal, but which they themselves constantly augment their own nuclear arsenal. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would they let me inspect the nuclear production centers in France, Germany, U.S., Russia, England, China? Would they let me inspect... I don't know. I didn't answer my own question. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. No worries. That's so I propose to locate all the nuclear explosive material on the moon. Why, you ask? To blow up the moon! Just to change the five billion years of rotten celestial scenario surrounding the planet Earth. Believe me, no change can be worse than the present scenario. We must, oh, we must reject Darwinian surrender to the evolutionary dictates of the Mother Nature. I have literally nothing to say about this. <laughs> that Mother Nature is indeed a wicked stepmother nature. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to call you Jessica. I'm not calling you mom. And we must teach her a couple of lessons. Punch that bitch. <laughs> we that must bitch. jolt Punch the planet that Earth into a new orbit. If the jolting of the planet Earth requires the blowing up of the moon, the blasting that dull, stupid-looking moon into pieces, so be it. The most practical and the most expeditious way of jolting the planet Earth from its future rotten and decadent orbit is to blow up the moon. Um... There is no other oh. practical and swift way. Well, yeah. <laughs> blow up the moon! Blast it into pieces, jolting in the planet Earth into a new orbit! Let blow up the moon! Stands for radical change and liberation of human spirit and intellect and imposition of the will of human genius on the orbit of planet Earth, on the setup of the solar system, and even on the setup of the entire cosmos. Blow up the mount, man, make radically profound changes of cosmic magnitude. No use of sending mosquito-type probes to moon and to Mars. 
blow up the moon and join the planet Earth into a new rational cosmic era. How you, how, you, how you doing there, Lemon? So, uh, let's see. So, Lemon, I mean, what's wrong aside from everything? Well, you know, he's, he's had a hard couple minutes, this microphone stand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, not, a, not a relaxing time for that microphone yeah. stand. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't need a microphone stand anymore. <laughs> Fuck that stand! Fuck, Fuck that stand! stand. Fuck that stand! Fuck that stand! You should probably read from this one at this point. All right. 